we are continuing our Marvel Marathon Madness with 2004 The Punisher, based on the Marvel Comics character Frank Castle, starring the awesome Thomas Jane and the iconic John Travolta. Now this dark action film is based on the popular vigilante anti-hero following FBI agent Frank Castle as he transforms into the vengeful Punisher after criminals murder his entire family, including his wife and son. So let us go ahead and jump straight into the plot. An FBI bust of a smuggling operation in Tampa results in the deaths of Bobby Saint, the son of Mafia boss Howard Saint, and Otto Krieg, an arms dealer. However, Krieg's death was faked and it is later revealed to be undercover FBI agent Frank Castle, who is in his final mission before retirement. Enraged at the death of his son, Saint orders his men to learn everything they can about Krieg and acquires access by bribing corrupt federal law enforcement officers for the ser service history. Saint then orders Castle to be killed at a family reunion in Puerto Rico, though Saint's wife Livia insists that Castle's family be killed as well. At the reunion, Saint's men, including Saint's best friend Quentin Glass and Bobby's identical twin John, kill Castle's entire family. Now though Frank does take down some of the attackers, John ultimately shoots Castle, leaving him for dead. However, Castle survives and is nursed back to health by a local fisherman. With the police and FBI unwilling to pursue the killers due to Saints' power and influence, Castle moves into an abandoned apartment occupied by three outcasts, Joanne, Bumpo and Dave, and begins his mission to bring the Saints down. With the help of information provided by Saints' henchman <laughs> Mickey Duca, Castle studies the Saints' family and learns their every move during which he discovers ways of turning them against each other. Castle openly attacks Saints' business and sabotages his partnership with his Cuban associates. Saint then discovers that Castle is still alive and sends assassins to kill him. The first assassin, Harry Heck, ambushes Castle on the bridge, but is then killed when Castle fires a ballistic knife into his throat. The second assassin is a behemoth named the Russian, who nearly beats Castle to death in his own apartment, but Castle does manage to take him down as well. The tenants then treat Castles' wounds and hide him in his hidden elevator as Saints' men arrive to finish him off. When Dave and Bumpo refuse to reveal Castles' hideout, Glass tortures Dave by plucking each of his piercings with pliers. They leave one of their men to intercept Castle, but Castle naturally kills him after they leave. With Mikis' help, Castle poses as an anonymous blackmailer and arranges for Glass to be at a certain place while planting Livia's car at the same location and ultimately placing one of Livia's earrings in Glass's bed. When Saint finds the earrings, he stabs Glass to death, and despite her protest to the contrary, Saint accuses Livia of having an affair with him and throws her off an overpass on a railroad track where she is run over by a train. Now with Saint despondent, Castle assaults Saint's clubs and kills every member of his mob, including his remaining son, John. Saint does escape the building despite being wounded, but Castle pursues him and shoots him in a duel. As Saint lies dying, Castle reveals his entire scheme that led Saint to kill his friend and wife. Castle then ties Saint to a car and sends it into the club's parking lot, which is rigged with explosives, and Saint dies in the ensuing blast. Castle returns home and prepares to kill himself with his mission fulfilled, but then decides to continue to fight crime after seeing a vision of his wife. Castle leaves some of Saints' money as a farewell gift to the tenants for protecting him and is then seen standing alone on the Skyway Bridge at sunset. In a voiceover, Castle assumes the new identity of Punisher and vows to kill anyone who harms innocent people. Now even though so many critics and audience viewers did not seem to enjoy this film, I personally really liked it. It's a brutal revenge tale of a man who lost everything he loved and has nothing left but the sense of vengeance. Now be it by the numbers tale or not, I still find it captivating and thrilling. Thomas Jane is excellent in this role and brings to life Frank Castle in awesome fashion. The film is packed with ruthless action and great sequences and overall is an exciting ride for sure. Now I am giving it a 6 out of 10, only because the writing and overall plot could have been better with a few more enhancements here and there to flush out the character properly. Now the next video I will cover is 2008 Punisher Warzone and following that will be 2007 Ghost Rider. So stay tuned 
And please do consider hitting the like button and subscribing. I would truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for spending your time with me. Until our next adventure, y'all stay classy.